I don't scrunch hair. I just, you know, I let it dry in its natural curl pattern. Like, I'll separate it like this with my fingers and just let it dry. Yeah, this ain't the right texture. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm sure you guys didn't have my title. We are going to be unboxing a closure from Hen from, from Honey Hairco. Um, but before we get into the video, you guys know what I ask. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning supporter, thank you for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. You know, help your girl grow. Um, if you're new here, then you're not familiar. I'm doing this new series on my channel. Um, for some of the hair companies that I've tried out in the past that I didn't have the best experience with um and honey hair company is one of those hair companies um i picked up just to give you a little bit of backstory i'm gonna put a timestamp up here if you guys want to bypass the backstory and the why um i picked up a frontal from them and their customer service let's put that out there uh was good um you know they were very nice they were very pleasant it's just like the entire process just it didn't work out for me price wise they I, I think their frontals and closures are affordable. I paid like less than a hundred bucks for this. So definitely worth it. Um, <clears throat> it's a five by five closure, by the way. But the backstory is I got a frontal from them. The first frontal that I got, one side of the frontal, if I'm not mistaken, was really thin. The other side was a little bit fuller. Sent it back. They sent me another frontal. Um, and I started to make the wig because I make wigs. Like I made this one. We're going to get into what this wig is. Um, like I made this one. And... Before I could even sew any of the hair on, <clears throat> see how this is like tangled at the roots? See how it's tangled at the roots? That's what I was experiencing with Honey Hair Company's frontal. Now I'm experiencing the same thing with this one. The bundles and the closure from Juicy Hair Fair, they don't longer sell hair any longer. This was like a oops closure. It wasn't supposed to be like a good one. I thought it was good. And it turns out it's the same process as the Honey Hair Company frontal that I received. So... <clears throat> And then the lace, it just isn't the best. So I'm going to remove this closure and put this one on its place. <clears throat> the reason that this is relative, relative, relevant, <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for. The reason that this is relevant to this video is because I'm hoping to have a better experience than I did in the past with Honey Hair Company in terms of like, you know, two bad closure, two closures, frontals. That's what I said, right? Frontals. I'm going to link those videos down below if you guys want to check them out. But I had two bad frontals from them. So I'm hoping that, you know, things have changed. And I mentioned to you guys in one of my vlogs. <clears throat> now, I don't know how accurate this is. Um, someone claiming to be representing them reached out to me um, to try to resolve the experience that I had oops to resolve the experience that I had um I didn't like their approach I turned them down because that's just not how I do things I don't want you to they tried to say they were gonna ask me to remove my videos <clears throat> um in exchange what it seems like now I could be wrong if I need to provide receipts I can do that in another video um but monetary compensation for me to remove my content which is not something I do here on my channel if I've been wrong about something then I'll pull something else about that to address you know me being inaccurate in something that I've said <laughs> but without further ado let's get into this five by five closure now I did also want to say that I don't remember the first time that I ordered it um I had to keep like calling and doing a lot of legwork in terms of like getting them to ship it out when it's supposed to be shipped out so this shipped out really really quickly so i i do love that this is probably my invoice i found a coupon code on google because i don't know if you guys know your girl loves a deal that's how i was able to get it for under a hundred dollars um and it says seven days from you receiving your order you can request an exchange or a refund that's the other reason why i decided to do redemption time for them because again if the hair company doesn't have a great return policy i'm not going to put myself out there to potentially lose my money because just like you guys i work hard for my money so um yeah i was willing to do that now it says no dyes no chemicals no unraveling cutting etc um, now, I did recall the first time that I didn't have a good experience, they informed me that I can co-wash to see if the hair, you know, if it changed. But I'm just hoping that <clears throat> this is better. Now, this is supposed to be a raw 
um, 5 by 5 closure. I got it in 14 inches. 14 inches is all they had in stock. I really wanted to be able to wear this wig, so I just took what they had. Now, I do recall when I got hair from them before that the hair was soft. This looks longer than 14 inches. Um, the reason that I was okay with 14 inches, because I'm like, I'm going to layer it anyway because of the the fact that this hair has a lot of ends but normally I don't like 14 inches now the same thing that happened last time I don't know how they washed their um their closures their frontals but you see like all these it you can it smells great it smells amazing and the reason I say I don't know how they wash it is because it looks like this is like dry conditioner that's like stuck to the back of the um the closure um yeah not really happy with that like i mean it would make like if i didn't know any better i would think that it was used obviously it's not used um and actually has a really decent hairline um there we go you can see where it's a little bit thinner in the front now <clears throat> this is supposed to be a wavy you can see where it's a wavier texture i don't even know if i'm supposed to do this um but i'm gonna do it anyway i'm hoping that this works out because like i said this was this closure was really really affordable um and I never it's never my intention to bash anyone's business I am just hair here not hair here to give you guys my honest thoughts opinions on things that I see because I feel as though a lot of you guys come to my channel because not in a bad way but no one else is giving you the info like I'm giving you the info not saying that no one else is informed about wigs but like I really wear my wigs. I really expect my hair, my wigs to last me years. I'm not just wearing it for one week, one month, and then that's it. Like this wig that I have on my head um, was the one of the first wigs that I reviewed in my channel when I started in 2018. It's 2018. Um, in 2018. So it's been almost four years since I've had this wig. So I say all that to say. I really wear my hair. So I'm going to spray this. And the reason is because, like, I know, like, when you ship, hair can, like, change texture. I just need to make sure this matches because this looks like it's a straighter texture. Um, probably not what I'm supposed to do, right? But this looks like it's going to be a straighter texture than I'm used to. This looks like it's, I don't want to say, like, a body wave, but, like, I need this to match. Because I do like wearing my wigs, my weaves, and it's natural texture. And, all right, okay, it's coming through. I was gonna say I'm not gonna be able to do that if um I'm not gonna be able to do that if this doesn't curl up a little bit more than it's curling up at the moment because it's really really loose like the closure on this I think is like really like an Indian curly I don't think it's an Indian wavy but I love the look that it gives so I'm gonna have to get used to that but let's spray this the hair is definitely soft let you know let's let's give them that the hair is definitely soft um I don't want to say dare I say and like I, with my work schedule typically like I don't have time because they only want you to but because they want you to respond to them within seven days I have it does it's not gonna take much to dismantle this wig but I have to take this closure off of this wig within the next couple days and put this on there to see if I'm getting the same response um I hope I don't because like like I said, it was really, really, like, under $100 for a closure, especially with, like, the lace shortage because of the pandemic. Like, where else can we get that? Like, let's be real. That's really what attracted me to them the first time. But then after I co-washed the hair and it was just, like, no matter what I did, it tangled. It got matted like this. And I'm like, I have too many options. Come on, focus. I have too many options to go out looking crazy like this like the lace is not you know is one thing but like the hair like constant and you i mean like and from what i've learned it's because the cuticles aren't aligned so that's the reason why you'll get like tangling and matting the way that that tangled and matted so i'm just really hoping um this doesn't have that same thing now i don't know if i'm gonna come back and i might come back and do an update but before the update, I may post it in the comments just because it is technically Thursday. Normally, your girl has been scheduling her videos. Sorry, this is like all over the place. But normally, I've been scheduling my videos. And I've been unable to schedule this video because I was waiting for this. It was supposed to arrive yesterday. Yesterday being Tuesday, but it was delayed by one day. So, it came in Wednesday. And 
everything that's going on in my life I wasn't able to film until Wednesday night turning into is it Wednesday night it's still out oh, it's just I'm just old it's still Wednesday night but look at the time it's 11 45 y'all see how I love y'all but yeah so I gotta go and edit this video and put it out but this doesn't look like I don't know if this is this is this is looking straight so what i'm gonna do right i'm gonna go co-wash it um uh, and then put it you guys not put it in my laundry room uh let it air dry and if it not necessarily dries but if i can at least see the curl pattern before i'm finished editing this video i'm gonna put a clip of it up here but um so far i'm not mad at the quality um the lace I guess we'll really see, you know, once I co-wash it, but the hair is really, the hair is really, 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 really soft. Like, I would definitely say that the hair is soft. You know, like I said, their customer service is good. Shipping, it came through really, really quickly. Um, it came from, I think, like, Houston? 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 Illinois. I was close. I'm not necessarily getting that this is going to be the same. This is this is giving me like a straighter texture. It's not giving me like a body wave. Like you guys saw how I wet it. And then initially it looked like it was going to curl up. And normally I don't like I don't scrunch hair. I just. I don't scrunch hair. I just you know I let it dry in its natural curl pattern. Like I'll separate it like this with my fingers and just let it dry yeah this ain't the right texture i mean like i try to give it the benefit of the doubt and i'm sorry this video is a ramble i'm gonna i'm gonna stop talking soon um but i had that experience with another hair company where you know i'm like oh well maybe it's just a looser texture and i did my hair in a half up half down and there was a drastic difference in the texture. This is giving me Indian straight. This is not giving me Indian wavy. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to measure it. This definitely looks like it's longer than 14 inches, so I can tell you that much. Like, you guys always hear me. Like, when I say, like, something is longer than it is, I'm usually accurate. But, for argument's sake, we are going to measure. Because we like to rule out everything. You know, rule out everything here on the channel. I knew it. I knew it felt like it was 16 inches. Yep, longer. Um, so happy about that. Happy about the quality of hair. Um, I, I don't believe this is the right texture that I... That I don't believe this is the texture that I ordered. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, mistakes happen. Um, I've had it happen a couple different times with a couple different hair companies. Um, so... I'm going to try to co-wash it before I even dismantle this wig to see what's what. Um, but more than likely, I'm going to have to send this back in exchange, which I'm, I know is not going to be a problem because, like I said, their customer service is amazing. It's just that um, the experience that I had with the hair, um, I don't think has is anything that they had any control over was the experience that I had with the hair, and I put that out there. But this hair feels great. Um, the price is right. So I don't mind waiting and doing an exchange, but uh, I will keep you guys updated. I'll come back and update you in another video, but that wraps this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.